All right, Dave, thank you. Well, for nearly two months, we've been reporting about the dangers of West Nile virus. Portions of Colorado are seeing nearly 10 times the number of Culex mosquitoes as they were last year. Those are the type of mosquitoes that transmit in West Nile. Yeah. Now we're learning that humans aren't the only ones fending off these pests. Your Northern Colorado reporter Dylan Thomas reports on wildlife in the area now falling ill at a much more concerning rate. It's a perfect storm scenario this year. A rainy June was the perfect breeding ground for Culex mosquitoes and West Nile virus. Such an uptick in Culex mosquitoes really impacts especially raptors at this time of year. And few would know that more than Michael Tincher and the Rocky Mountain Raptor Program. Just in the month of July, we saw a record number of admissions, 75 to, to be exact. This bird was patient 198 of the year meaning nearly 38% of this year's wounded or sick raptors came just in July, most of which are young Cooper's hawks that tested positive for West Nile. These young raptors have no immune system. They spend a certain amount of time on the ground. It puts them in the mosquito zone, so they are immediately being hammered by this virus. Symptoms include loss of vision, brain swelling leading to grounding and confusion, or loss of critical feathers like this hawk's tail. Sometimes you'll have extremely neurological cases where they're having seizures. The chronic effects of West Nile can be long lasting. For example, this bird right here, simply known as red tail hawk West Nile, is still battling the symptoms. She was brought here 20 years ago in 2003. There is no cure for a virus. It has to run its course. And a lot of those birds die within 96 hours. But thanks to the staff at the Raptor Center, it's very rewarding. Many are rehabilitated and return to their natural habitat. Hopefully we, we, we get to that day where we can take them out and release them back into the wild for their second chance at freedom. While a raptor on the ground doesn't necessarily mean that it's sick, if it's on the ground for a prolonged period of time, that may be of concern. Also, if it's oddly attracted to bodies of water and it won't leave them, that may be of concern as well. The Raptor Center says they will keep a sick raptor as long as it takes to rehabilitate them, as you just saw some of them being for many years, and they also just need to show that they can still hunt and maintain healthy flying feathers. In Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado Fur. Dylan, thank you. And Dylan is your Northern Colorado reporter and neighbor. He covers Larimer and Weld counties for you. If you have a story idea, give him a call on our tips line, 303-863-TIPS, or shoot him an email through our website, cbscolorado.com.